In this video, we're going to be discussing why oil would be coming out of your exhaust system, whether it is oil, and what could be the cause. So we had this C15 that came into the shop this week, and the customer's complaint was white exhaust smoke and oil coming out of the turbocharger basically the exhaust system. Now the first thing you need to do is determine is this oil? So you want to get some of whatever fluids coming out and you want to look at it, you want to smell it. It could be oil, it could be fuel, it could be coolant. And whatever it is, you need to go after that system. So if it's coolant, you might have a cracked head. If it's fuel, you might have a damaged cylinder or a bad injector. If it's oil, it could also be several things. So best way to determine is if you rub it between your fingers, it should be thick and tacky. That'll mean it's oil. Now, if it is oil, there can be multiple causes. You could have cylinder damage, you could have damaged exhaust or intake valve guides or valve seals, and of course, it could be your turbocharger as well, since the turbo gets oil fed to it. Now, you also want to look at exhaust smoke. So we have white exhaust smoke coming out of the stacks. And the next thing you want to do is, how's your blow-by with the engine running? Is the blow-by really high? Do you have high amounts of blow-by? Is there steam coming out? So what you're going to be looking at is your blow-by tube. You can see this one does not have very much blow-by. Also, is there an engine miss? If you have a dead cylinder, you need to see what's wrong with that cylinder. This one did not have an engine miss, and there was very little blow-by. So that means we probably do not have a damaged cylinder. So the next thing you'd want to do is look at your exhaust ports on the outside of the head. Or is there any oil coming out of them? If they're dry, that probably tells you that most likely you don't have a cylinder problem or a valve problem. We're probably going to be looking at a turbo problem. Also look in your intake to make sure that it is dry. You're looking at the exhaust turbine here on this turbo and obviously it's wet and you need to see that the shaft is not broken or has excessive end play and this one is not broken and it does not have excessive end play. So that's telling you don't have a physical failure of the shaft or the turbocharger but maybe one of the seals failed inside. So you're going to want to take off your intake and your exhaust tube on the turbo and then you're going to want to take off the oil feed lines going to the turbocharger. So you have one oil feed and then your oil return. And what I'm going to be using here is called an EVAP or a smoke machine. And I got this on eBay. It was about $150, which is a lot less than the $1,000 that most shops will have to pay for them. And it's, it's a very simple setup. All it uses is air, a 12-volt setup, and some mineral oil. And what I did here is I plumbed the smoke machine into the oil return line on the turbocharger. This bypasses everything else. Now we're going to check our intake housing here and make sure we don't have smoke pouring out, which would mean the shaft seal has failed. And then we're going to check the exhaust side. Hey, look at that. A ton of smoke. That means that the shaft seal on the exhaust side has failed, which is allowing oil to get past the cartridge and then get into the exhaust. So we have identified a bad turbocharger here. And if you've never used a smoke machine, basically it just puts out about one PSI of pressure and a little bit of smoke. And it'll help you find leaks and a bunch of other things. And to fill it up, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is put some mineral oil in the machine, hook it up to a battery and an airline. So we have determined that the turbocharger is the cause of failure. Now it's time for a little segment I like to call... So we actually have two things in the destruction of the week. This week, this customer's truck came in and they were complaining of a hard engine miss. One of the cylinders was not firing. They suspect maybe an injector or major cylinder damage, but lucky for them, they just had the adjuster button on this intake rocker arm was broken. So as you can see, it's not connected anymore like this one. So all they really needed here was a new rocker arm. They actually could have just gotten away with a new adjuster, but the rocker arm had been hitting the Jake housing. So 
it was a good idea just to change the rocker room. They're not crazy expensive. They're only about $100. Another perspective there of what broke. Now, this other truck came in, and all they had was an a, a, uh, oil leak. And they figured, okay, well, I just probably need a new gasket. But as you can see, the turbocharger had actually cracked, and the oil feed return line was broken off. And in this case, the engine miss was a cheap fix, and the oil leak was a fairly expensive one, because as you can see, it is broken off. Hope you enjoyed the video.